we have it, the closing bell at the New York Stock Exchange. It was a tumultuous day for the markets. The Dow Jones closed down more than 200 points as shares of Boeing and Home Depot dragged the industrials into negative territory. The Nasdaq and S&P 500 also lost ground. The luxury of investing in the stock market can be risky and intimidating for some, especially those for whom medical bills have become a source of major financial trouble, as is the case for nearly 43 million Americans. According to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, medical bills are one of the largest sources of personal debt in the U.S., with an estimated $88 billion in medical bills on credit reports. Roughly 20 percent of U.S. families report they have medical debt. This particular debt affects households unevenly, with past due medical bills prevalent among black and Hispanic households. The debt is also more common in the South, where states opted out of expanding Medicaid coverage. But there may be some hope. Joining us now to talk more about this new development is Ethan Dornhelm. Ethan is a vice president at FICO Scores and Predictive Analytics and leads the research and analytic development of FICO Scores globally. Ethan, welcome. It's great to have you with us. So these changes that you're going to tell us about uh, will remove nearly 70 percent of medical debt from consumer credit reports. Is that right? What are the rules surrounding this decision? And are the rules the same for people who have unpaid debts? on their credit report. Yeah, and there's no, there's no question, this is an exciting development um, for consumers who have medical collections uh, hanging on their credit file. There's three key aspects to the new rules. Um, the first is that all paid medical collection debt will no longer be included in the credit file and by extension, no longer considered by the FICO score. Um, the second prong is there's gonna be a longer waiting period before medical collection information can show up in the credit file. It used to be six months. That's going to be moved to a full year, 12 months. And that's going to allow consumers more time to work things out with their healthcare provider or their insurer before the collection actually hits the credit file. And lastly, something that's going to take place, it sounds like sometime in early 2023, there's going to be a removal of collections, uh, medical collections in the amount less than $500. So sort of nuisance collections, maybe derived from deductibles, co-pays, things like that. So when will these new changes go into effect? So the first two changes that I mentioned, the longer waiting period and the removal of uh, paid medical collections should go effect J July 1st of this year. All right. And so then the, the last one, I think the bureaus have simply said sometime early 2023. So basically things are, are moving uh, quickly. Um, so Ethan, don't FICO scores already take into account medical debt and not factor that into the score, I thought. I mean, it is a, like you said, it's complicated because sometimes the debt has to do with disagreements you have over your insurance or your billing that's, that needs to get worked out. And we know these things can take a notoriously long time. Um, so that's not already considered uh, in the FICO score? It is actually in many ways already considered. As you mentioned, medical debt, it can be a result of emergency situations, the billing process can be very opaque and challenging. Long story short, almost a decade ago, the credit bureaus introduced something that allowed for the first time medical collection debt to be differentiated from non-medical collection debt. And at FICO, we're constantly looking to innovate in our scores and ideally find these win-win situations where we can both provide a more consumer-friendly treatment and also something that improves the accuracy of the score. And we were able to do just that and ignore all paid collections in most recent versions of the FICO score. So what that means is that prong of this new announcement that paid medical collections are gonna be dropped from consumers file, that's already something that's being factored into existing FICO scores, at least the most recent versions. Mm -hmm. But there are aspects of this new policy that are going to mean uh, additional information that was previously being considered by the score no longer being seen by the score. And right. that could mean a significant improvement in scores. For so it's just expanding that consideration. So give us some idea of the types of financial opportunities uh, this new expansion will open for consumers once this debt is dropped from their credit reports. Well, it's really going to depend. The exact impact for a specific consumer is going to depend. Obviously, consumers who don't have a medical collection on their file, which is something like nine out of every 10 consumers out there, they're not going to be impacted one way or another by this. However, for those millions of consumers who do have a medical collection, 
if that's one of their only credit blemishes on their file, this could actually be a meaningful improvement in their score. And all it takes is 20, 40 points, and you can start to qualify for credit at more favorable terms. So for example, if a consumer has a FICO score of 620 and they were to improve their score to 660, um, we have a calculator on myfico.com, a loan savings calculator. We found that if you have a $35,000 auto loan, the difference between a 620 and 660 in terms of the interest you're going to pay on that auto loan is over $3,000. So we're talking about real um, meaningful savings for consumers whose scores improve as a result of these policies. All right. Uh, very welcome news to many people, I'm sure. Ethan Dornhelm, Vice President at FICO Scores. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.